Whether we admit it or not, us humans are quite good at getting lost. Whether it be on a family holiday or a stroll through the woods, it can be quite easy to lose your way. Of course, this trait is not unique to us humans, as there are plenty of animals that often get lost. There are a vast amount of migratory species on this planet, and these species will travel around the world to find better feeding grounds or to find warmer weather. Most migratory species have a very impressive built-in navigation system, and this means it's quite rare for them to get lost. Despite this, every year there are a few exceptions, and these exceptions are normally young animals that are migrating for the first time. These animals can easily lose their way in tough storms, or they can swim in the completely wrong direction as they are confused. In this video, I will be going through just a few of these examples, as I will be going through three animals that ended up in the wrong place. And for our first species, we can head to the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Mediterranean, as we have the loggerhead sea turtle. Now, there are seven species of sea turtles still alive today. The largest is the leatherback sea turtle, and the smallest is Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. The loggerhead sea turtle comes in at number three, with an average length of around 90 centimeters across the carapace, and an average weight of around 135 kilograms. To get to this size, this sea turtle needs to get through a lot of food, and unlike some other sea turtles, the loggerhead has a mostly carnivorous diet. They'll feed on bottom-dwelling mollusks and crustaceans, and to tackle this prey, they have large, powerful jewels. These powerful jewels have meant that this turtle has a very large head, and this is how this species has got its common name. These turtles spend most of their time in the open ocean and in shallow coastal waters, and male loggerheads rarely come ashore. The females, on the other hand, have to come ashore to lay their eggs, and this behavior is one of the reasons why so many sea turtles are threatened today. The loggerhead sea turtle is currently listed as vulnerable, as they are facing threats from many different angles. They are affected by fishing and also get caught in fishing nets, and in some places around the world they are still hunted. When sea turtles lay their eggs, they often return to the same beaches that they hatched from. In most cases, this is a way to ensure that their young will survive, but this behavior doesn't keep them safe from us humans. As turtles lay their eggs on many beautiful beaches around the world, it's not uncommon for them to come into contact with humans. In some cases, holiday resorts are built on turtle nesting beaches, and this is of course bad news for the turtles. Humans often interfere with the turtles laying their eggs, and the presence of humans will also attract other creatures that will eat the turtles' eggs. These are just some of the many reasons why these turtles are threatened today, and it is important that we try to help every turtle that we can. Luckily, one young loggerhead sea turtle did find the help that it needed, and this was after it was washed 4,000 miles off course. Strangely, this story is the reason that I made this video, and it did happen only a few weeks ago. One morning, a family was walking on a beach in Western Ireland, and they came across quite an unusual sight. They had spotted a year-old loggerhead sea turtle, and it really wasn't in a good way. Her body was battered and she was dehydrated, and it looked as though she was suffering from hypothermia. One of the few sea turtles that can tackle cold waters is the leatherback sea turtle, and although the loggerhead sea turtle can be found around the waters of Ireland in the warmer months, it is almost impossible for them to survive at this time of year. In the winter, the waters around Ireland are often very harsh and unforgiving, and it's no place for a young loggerhead sea turtle. At this time of year, a young loggerhead sea turtle should be found thousands of miles south, but this individual either got lost or had drifted further north because of harsh weather. Luckily, shortly after she was discovered, she was transported to a local aquarium, and she has been recovering here ever since. So far, she has put on over 250 grams in weight, and she does look to be on the mend. Although this story is slightly out of the ordinary, turtles do occasionally wash up on Irish beaches. If you do live in Ireland or the UK and you find one of these turtles washed up on a beach, it's best to let the authorities know as quickly as possible, as it is possible to save the turtle, and it can have a happy ending just like this story does. But for our next story, we will be heading south, as the next species I will be focusing on is the Magnificent Frigate Bird. Now, there are quite a few members of the Frigate Bird family, but the Magnificent Frigate Bird is the largest species of Frigate Bird. They only reach a maximum weight of around 2 kilograms, but their wingspan can be almost 2.5 meters. This wingspan helps them glide on ocean winds, and this makes flying almost effortless. This bird generally feeds on the wing, and will generally target fish, squid, and jellyfish. Although it is very capable of catching its own prey, it is also known for being a mean kleptoparasite. This basically means that they steal meals from other birds, and will often pester them while they're flying. It would be almost impossible to talk about this bird without mentioning its gula sac. These are sacs that the males inflate to attract females, and the females tend to like the larger, more vibrant sacs. 
In the wild, this bird has quite a wide distribution and can be found along the coasts of southern North America, Central America, and northern South America. This bird rarely ventures far from the coast, but they are susceptible to being blown off course. This is exactly what happened in February 2021, when one magnificent frigate bird found its way to the desert. It's thought that this one individual called Florida home, but was blown very far inland all the way to El Paso. In 2021, Texas had a relatively harsh winter, and it's thought that the bad weather blew this bird off course. A desert is definitely not this bird's desired destination, and the bird's situation was made worse by the fact that she was hungry and weak. Luckily, after she was discovered, she was taken to El Paso Zoo, and she was cared for for over a month. Eventually, after she regained her strength, she was transported back to Florida and released. So luckily for this individual, she fell into the right hands, and once again, there was a happy ending. But for our next story, once again, we will be travelling north, as the species we will be focusing on is the grey seal. Now, this seal is found on both shores of the North Atlantic Ocean, and it has a few subtle differences from other seals. Its name in Latin translates to hook-nosed sea pig, and this refers to its strange snout. This species is also a relatively large seal, with balls reaching a length of around 2.3 meters and weighing in at 310 kilograms. To get to this size, they have quite a meaty diet, as they mostly feed on fish as well as octopus and lobsters. In some rare cases, they're known to target much more difficult prey, such as harbor seals and harbor porpoises. Grey seals rarely target these larger prey items, but it has been witnessed off the coast of Scotland, the Netherlands, and Germany. On the other hand, when it comes to interactions with us humans, these seals are relatively friendly. But this is, of course, if you meet them in the water. On land, like most pinnipeds, they are vulnerable, and the grey seal is known to be aggressive because of this. However, in the water, they are much more relaxed, and this is where you will have more positive interactions with them. If you've been lucky enough to spot this species in the wild, you would have probably seen it in the ocean or on a beach. This is exactly where this seal belongs, and it definitely doesn't belong in a field. Strangely, all the way back in December of 2014, this is exactly where one grey seal found itself. When this story first hit the news, it was not only strange, but it was also a complete mystery. It was found in a field near St. Helens, and this is almost 20 miles inland. These seals will sometimes travel upstream, but they rarely get very far. One detail that made this story even stranger was the fact that there was no major rivers nearby. It must have traveled up some tributaries or very small rivers, and it's thought that it got to the field through a brook. When people tried to help the seal, it was understandably not very happy, and the seal was described as distressed and unfriendly. Eventually, after a few hours, the RSPCA arrived, and they then took the seal to a wildlife hospital. It turns out that this unfortunate grey seal was not only lost, but it was also very ill. After being taken into care, its health got worse, and eventually died due to pneumonia after a month in care. Although this is a tragic end to this seal story, it is still remembered to this day, and he brought a smile to many people's faces. If you know of any other stories of animals that have got lost, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.